We're starting. Ding. Oh, what's up, everybody? I don't know if we're starting yet or not, though. Yeah, hi to you there, friends and neighbors. Welcome to ODV. What? 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 <laughs> what's going on, everybody? I'm Travis, the host of Overdose Vapes, one of them. And uh, we're here it's Sunday night. We're doing the live show. If you're here, you probably already know what's going on. So what's going on, everybody? Uh, I got some guests with me tonight. We got Lifa or Lifa, whatever you want to say. Uh, I got Gizzard Stew and I got my boy Paul Hessian over here. So, and yeah, Yeti's not going to join us tonight. He's not feeling good. So um, everybody send your best wishes to Yeti and he will be with us next week. But he did enter a coil for tonight's showcase. So a little piece of him will be with us tonight. So what's going on, everybody? Zap. 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 You know what? I, uh, <laughs> you know what changed my life? Deep Woods Beard Oil from VapingSwag.com. Uh, my old lady loves this shit. She just cannot get enough of this in her beard. No, she loves the smell of it, of course. But yeah, it's good stuff. I highly Sorry. recommend this. Good one, Rich good beer. one, Travis. Now you're in the doghouse. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> What's going on, chat? We got Church, Slushy Vapes, Jesse D, Train Sonic, The Link, Kenny B, Juan Castillo, John Mueller, Rosa Pooney, um, more people, Mad Dog Vapes, Scotty, 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 Scotty. Tommy Train. Vapors. What's going on, Tammy? My favorite vape model. Rochelle from Vape With Me. What's going on, girl? All Day Vape. Cool. Street Justice. What's going on, Chris? Kev W. Kev W. What's up? Link. What's up? Link. Link. Stop. Yeah, we got all the peeps. <laughs> cool. So, um, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So there goes your whole thing of thinking it's a dead show because everybody's watching Game of Thrones. Yeah, I guess so. There are a few people there. Well, it's actually, it's actually technically over now, so... Yeah, well, and there's I bet there's a lot of people who like watch this on one screen and then have some other shit going on too probably. Oh yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. Porn. 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 Yeah. Porn. Game of Thrones ended uh, five minutes. Ago. Okay, we're good then. Yeah. Yeah, you know what would be fucked up is um, trying to watch porn while you're watching this show because then I'd look over and just see all of us and I'd be like, no, this isn't gonna work <laughs> <help> for me. <laughs> you scared my heart on yeah. away. <laughs> Time to restart. Yeah. restart. Oh, it's like God. calisthenics. Yeah, uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> How long can I go? How long can I go? Oh, look at these guys. I can keep going. So I had fish for lunch. Yeah, yeah. I heard you say that. Yeah, now my penis smells like cod. <laughs> we got all the jokers on tonight. Yep. You know what I'm afraid of is that Pornhub is like run by like the the government, and that it like will install spyware on everybody's computer because they that's like the only way to literally get every single man in the world is let's take over Pornhub. Yeah. Uh, okay. All day vape just said Travis. I that, yeah. I, all right, cool. I don't know if it's in my email or if it's on Facebook. I will. I will hunt him down. Yeah. 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 So I just got a message right before we started the show that um, I gotta get rid of this. Okay. Um, that uh, Don will be sending me some uh, lemon ecstasy. So people who watch my channel, you can look forward oh, to that. A, yeah, exactly. You can look forward to a review of that coming up soon. Like a big bottle. I doubt if it's a big bottle. <laughs> Maybe some concentrates. I'll make a big bottle. Ooh. We'll see. We will I, see. I, I can't see shit. There Take them go. off. Come it's on. Crazy. What do you think? You're cool or something? <laughs> hey, Travis, is it okay if I say hello? If you do what now? If I say hello. Go ahead. Hello. <laughs> I like it. That's too sexy, though. Much too sexy. Okay, so um, tonight we got kind of a slow start here. I got I got to get my bearings. Got to get my fucking bearings. Um, 
So tonight we're going to talk about a few things uh, that are going on across the across across the globe. We have some global advocacy stuff to talk about. Um, Australia had a really big step forward um, last week, and uh, there the parliament was hearing um, testimony from doctors. You know, actually people who know what the fuck they're talking about when it comes to um, nicotine cessation and uh, you know cigarette cessation and the benefits of vaping. Because if you don't know, um, in Australia. Australia, certain states, it's totally banned. Um, 100%, you cannot buy any kind of nicotine products, um, like vaping nicotine products. But in other states, it's, it's kind of like, uh, you know, it's not exactly legal, but they somehow get away with it. Uh, a lot of it is like what they do in the UK now, which is you buy juice, or not juice, you buy e-liquid that is zero uh, milligram nicotine, and it comes with a little sidecar. Sidecar! Sidecar. And then you have to mix it yourself, which I always think that's not the best idea for people who don't know what they're doing. Um, it could lead to, I mean, somebody vaping pure nicotine. Well, not pure nicotine, but a heavy dose of nicotine. You never know, you know. So, um, you know, we'll talk about that. There's also some other things. Um, uh, Michigan, uh, uh, Michigan came out saying that, um, admitting that smoking is on the decline because of e-cigarettes. Um, there's a lawsuit against the Health and Human Services right now. Um, oh, they're trying to get records that are pertaining to the FDA and the CDC's um, studies that they did, studies about the um, effects that e-cigarettes can have as far as cancer. Um, and they're saying that's why they have the deeming regulations to begin with, is they're saying that e-cigarettes cause cancer. So um, a, a, an organization is suing them for the records and for those studies, and they're fighting back and they don't want to release those studies because, as we all know, it's probably all bullshit. So, um, so we're going to talk about all that stuff, as well as something that I found really interesting, which is these new flax paper coil heads. Have you guys heard about that? Nope. Okay, so um, Horizon Tech made a, a new tank that it takes a coil head that is a combination of paper and and cotton, but flax paper. And it's supposed to wick faster. It's supposed to have a cleaner flavor, et cetera, et cetera. It's, a, it's really similar to what they were doing with, um, uh, what were you saying, Paul? Ceramics. Ceramic. Yeah, that's ceramic. What it was. We were yeah, talking about this before. These yeah. ceramic sheets. Yes. Yeah. So we're, you know, mm. that's that's the concern with, that we have is that it's going to be another ceramic, but um, but we can talk about that mm. as well. I so flax makes you poop. I think it, yeah, I think it does. Like if you mm. take flax seed, I think it yeah. can make you yep. poop. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What is the paper going to do? Uh, they it use it as part poop, of the wiki. It, yeah. it, it makes you poop, but it cleans up after itself. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. <laughs> no, I think it's just like a it's a um, it's a wick and a laxative all in one. Save you some time and some money. Doors open. Doors open. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ultimate booping accessory. Yes, you know people are so happy about booping. So I love it, myself a good voop. I don't know paper paper. I don't know just. Yeah, no, that's yeah. that's the concern. Doesn't, doesn't sound tasty. No, you know, I'm interested to try it. That's for sure, but I, I, I'm still very, very uh, skeptical at this point. And you know, when it comes to vooping, um, don't you feel a little gross taking giant deep inhales into your lungs when there's like shit particles in the air? Uh, no, don't do it. Good. No. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah, I, I like I tried it once and I'm like, I just can't get into this. It stinks in here. Um, I don't want to <laughs> breathe at all, let alone taking big up and breaths. Like, oh, yeah, it tastes good. <laughs> I'm like, this liquid tastes like shit. That's going to my review. <laughs> I'm not big into vooping. This tasted great, except for when I was shitting, and then it tasted like <laughs> shit for some reason. It's weird. <laughs> Boop juice. Yeah, okay, so Vaping Swag has a, you know, he says flax has been around longer than cotton. Like, as a wicking material or as a thing altogether? I don't really... I think as a thing. All together. What do you think about what do you think about a uh, post loop, like or post poop, like you know you left one in there and you wash your hands and then you go grab your vape and blast go, a few blast a few in? clouds in there. <laughs> I, I'm still I still think it's not. I mean, it, actually, like imagine you're at, at a party or something, right? And you're like, oh man, I wrecked the I wrecked the room. <laughs> so then you. 
on the way out, you blow a few clouds in there. To... As a courtesy. <laughs> Yeah, as a courtesy. Okay, play. yeah. Then that I, I, actually, oh. I, I actually have. Now a little, it smells like shit and I, custard. Oh <laughs> man, that's gonna be the next thing. Yeah, courtesy custard. clouds. Oh, well, I, yeah, courtesy clouds. I actually have. <laughs> I have the travel uh, spray bottles of the poopery. So you of course keep it you with do. you. You keep it with you. You just spray a couple of spritzes in the toilet. You destroy it. You walk away, and you're like, man, that was worth it. <laughs> I see courtesy cloud video in my future. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Don. I gotta get rid of that so nobody can see it. Don is hilarious. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, talk about what we've been vaping this week. I have some really, really interesting shit and a lot of shit to talk about. So Nice. Uh, I think I'll go first. I don't. <laughs> All right, I'll go first. Uh-oh, what happened? My chat got disconnected. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mine said that too. Yeah. Maybe we're hacked. Uh, we're hacked. Now, ch chat's going still good on me. Really? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. It says successfully chat. connected. Okay, no. I'm gonna reconnect here. I say hi. It worked. Yay. Yep, I see you. There you go. Okay. Just ignore what's going on. Let's go. <laughs> I've been okay. vaping on this. Of course you have. So no I. Yeah. This. Ooh, ooh. And this. Mm. Okay. Okay. So a lot That's of the regular it. stuff. A lot of the regs, except for the lemon ecstasy, yeah. which is great. Okay. And Gizzard, you've been fucking with the same shit, or got some new stuff? Yeah, I've, I've got it loaded in here, and uh, been enjoying it. Excellent. Excellent. Quite a bit. Good. I've heard nothing but great things about it, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. Nice. That's good. Did yeah, you get DIY or did you get pre-made? I don't know. She just, I mean, right before we started the show, she just sent me a, a, a message. So. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I'm excited. It's it's better than good. It's it's great. It's gold. Yeah. I mean, anything that she makes, I'm, I'm always really excited about it. So. Okay. Um. So what have I been vaping on? Uh, I got the new Vaptasia Killer Custard with Strawberry, um, which, the, you know, the more I vape it, the more I'm, I'm actually starting to love it. It's really really growing on me and if uh for everybody who's in the show or in the chat tonight i do have a bottle to give away so that's a hundred mil bottle to give away Dave so giveaways it's a giveaway dibs <laughs> you you win um no and then i have i have this bottle to give away and i also have two more bottles to give away um during the actual re review for the juice as well so nice we're giving away a ton 300 mils all right um so i let me get the chat back up here okay um, so I've been vaping that. I also have been vaping all the new Dinner Lady summer flavors. They sent me a whole fucking rack of flavors. They're all summer themed. Um, Dinner Lady. Yeah. Um, so we have shit like, what do we got here? Um, Suntan Mango. Cola Shades. You know, summer themed stuff. They sent me a whole box of shit. They got beach balls and frisbees and all kinds of shit, too. So uh, it's really nice. cool. Uh, this stuff is really, really fucking good. One Eyed Turtle. It comes with two 50 ml bottles, and they're like little micro brew style bottles. Yep. <clears throat> and they're really good. It's a salted pretzel with graham cracker. It's so Ooh. fucking good. Fucking good, man. It's so good. Yeah. They make a, another one, a Grumpy Old Bastard. It's the same company who makes that, that makes this as well. Uh, Looks like soy sauce. <laughs> I guess. Um, I've been vaping this lemon. Um, it's a creamy lemon pound cake that I made myself. Um, it took a couple months for it to actually steep into something that was good. I had, I had forgotten about it. And then I was looking through juice and I was like, uh, well, I'll try it. It turned out really fucking good. So I'm really happy with it. But the steep time's crazy. I mean, literally two months it took to get vapable. So lemon it's tough um yeah. oh yeah and then butter beer so I've been checking does it taste like beer no it's uh like a cream soda yeah uh, it's good though it's really good um yeah what's that i like the name i like the name butter beer yeah me too for yeah. some reason that's just really catchy and the yeah. art on it is really good too it just looks I mean classy it's just who like doesn't like butter and who doesn't like beer right? beer? Uh, communists but <laughs> fucking commies don't like it fucking commies 
Oh, and then I've been fucking with this, still fucking with the Oceanus. Um, this thing is a beast, man. It's just really good. The 2700 battery cells are amazing. 3000 ma, 40 amps. Um, this thing, I mean, it's super compact, fits in the hand really well, but it still sits a 24 millimeter device. It's got the goon on there, it fits it perfectly. Nice. It's just, this thing is a winner. Um, if anybody is like thinking about starting vaping, I mean, if anybody knows somebody who wants to start vaping, I really recommend this kit because it comes with the mod, two 2700 cell batteries, um, a rebuildable section for the Scion tank, a regular pre-made coil section, comes with two Clapton coils, comes with cotton. It literally has everything you need except for the liquid to vape. So I really, really recommend this kit. And that's it, yeah. Everything nice. else I've been fucking with is the same old shit, so. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I've been on uh, today and yesterday, Donut Dude, as oh, usual. Yeah. On the broadside in the goon, usual go-to setup. Uh, got some frame staple aliens uh, in that, going like crazy. And uh, been rocking since we started the the chat earlier. Uh, Jam Monster, as usual, <clears throat> on the ninety-nine. Oh, that's so nice. I nice. fucking love this thing, man. Love this thing. It's almost as big as my cock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not big enough around, though. <laughs> so you, you keep telling yourself that, Trav. <laughs> I will! Um, you know, and, you know, to talk about the 99 real quick, you know, it's a uh, Vaporgate product. Uh, this is the pre-release. I got number 23 out of the 50. Humble uh, brag. Yeah, humble brag. <laughs> the only the only downside between the pre-release and the original broadside is it does not have that dull ring sleeve in the, in the middle of it. And me and Travis were actually talking about that for battery safety is issues. You know, I'm hoping that Yosh and the guys from Broadside put the sleeve in on the actual production runs of it. Um, but because that was they, really that's really what made the broadside. Kind of special Big. was all right. of the different safety features that they had built in. This is what we were talking about beforehand. Right, right. And then um, the thing that was great about the broadside was that anybody who wanted to try a mech mod, I could tell them, even if they are morons, I could say, well, you get the broadside because you can stick a fucking unwrapped battery in that fucking thing and you're not going to cause an explosion, which I thought was really important. So Right. Yeah. Now, does the Admiral have the sleeve in it? Yes, or did sure. they take yeah. it out? It, it, oh, yeah, it definitely does. It definitely does. Oh, okay. Well, so here's the deal. Uh, the Admiral is the 2700 version of the broadside. Um, so that is just a strictly broadside mod. Broadside Yosh, makes that mod. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yosh uh, from Vaporgate wanted to do a 26650 uh, stacked mod for quite some time. But he didn't have. He didn't want to go with uh, starting fresh and going with uh, you know trying to develop something that he didn't trust. So he waited around and waited and waited and worked with a couple of different vendors uh, to come up with the idea. And at first, Broadside was just like, "Well, we're not going to release it." And Yosh persuaded them to use the same button technology and everything, but brand it. The Vaporgate um, 99, and it's it's got Vaporgate branding all over it. The top cap has the Vaporgate etching in it. It's got a Vaporgate button on it. It says the 99 uh, by Vaporgate around the ring right down here, and it's also going to have uh, the production run is going to have uh, Vaporgate the 99 uh, in the top uh, etched into the top ring right up here. So okay, um, <clears throat> but it still says. Broadside because it's ultimately a collab between Broadside and Vapor Game. And you could so. you could easily nice. beat a baby to death with it. <laughs> oh, 100 percent. You know, I mean, this thing's one crazy. whack, one sturdy whack. This and you can kill crazy. babies, old ladies. You know, I mean, <laughs> I'd small women. Punch, I'd probably punch a nun with this thing, and you know, she'd meet her maker. But hey, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, the coil and of the. The Coil Art Mech, okay, Train Sonic brought up a good point. The Coil Art Mech has a sleeve and an RDA for a third of the price. The Coil Art uh, Mech is really nice, but it's not going to be of the same quality, in my opinion. It's not going to be of quite the same quality as something like the Broadside. I don't know. 
it's a good mech. Don't get me wrong. You know, I mean, Guerrilla Tactics even has a uh, uh, a sleeve style mech out as well. Um, that's a fantastic, hard hitting mech. But again, you know, <clears throat> the quality isn't as there as with the broadside, the arbor, you know, the AV stuff and everything like that as well. But again, <clears throat> to each his own, if you're on a budget and you oh, want shit. a uh, customizable sleeve vape uh, mech mod, I, by all means, the coil art's definitely a great fucking mech. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys, just getting messages <laughs> here. My bad. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I had some questions in here. Um, uh, All Day Vape wanted to know if the strawberry and the killer custard is overpowering. At first, yes, it was definitely. It hit me. And I did not like it when I first tried it because it tasted a little too candy-ish. Um, but if you just kind of keep vaping it, um, it kind of comes into its own, especially if you just keep using the same cotton and you let it kind of get broken in. It seems to really come alive. Um, so I really like it. Um, it's the, the strawberry is not going to be for everybody. That's going to be my opinion, but it's, it is good. It is good. Yeah. It's not, it's not too much. You can still tell that it's killer custard. If you've ever had killer custard. Nice. Nice. And I, I would just assume that the higher, higher you um, reach with the wattage, the more the custard is more prevalent than the, than the strawberry. Yeah. It's going to have so much to do with your devices your build, what kind of power you're putting through it, all that shit's going to come into play. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, we can definitely still taste the custard. Okay. I gotta find something here. Okay. Um, I'll deal with that later. Thank you, Tommy. Let's get a message from Tommy. Thank you, Tommy. You're a great guy. Always looking out. Um, so, Club the Penguins. Ha. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. See, I'd go with baby seals over penguins, you know. You're sick. You're a sick motherfucker. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Everything. We've known this for a while. Come you know, I think we talked about this on this on this show, but um the um what do you call it? The uh faces of death videos. Yes. So uh there was a, a big section in one of the ones that I had that was all about clubbing fucking seals. And I tell you what, out of all the shit on those videos. Um, that none of that shit bothered me when I was a kid, except for that part where they were clubbing seals. And I was like, that's fucking sick. You guys are fucking sick people. Clubbing <laughs> little babies, man. Like, ah, I couldn't handle it. Anyways. Yeah, and I always wondered, didn't the blood ruin the fur anyway? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Staining that fur? Oh... Uh... You know, that's the thing is that, like, to say we can't kill it this certain way because it's going to ruin the fur. That sucks. You know, like taking these long sticks where they have to hit it like a dozen times to kill it. I, you know, another fucked up thing. In that Okay, there was two things that bothered me in that movie. There was another part where they ate a live monkey's brains. And yeah. oh, I can't even talk about it. The way they killed it was they thumped it really lightly with like spoons until it died. And then they cut its head open and ate the brains. Fucking disgusting people. I mean, if you'll do shit like that, I don't even know what to tell you. I'm really glad I never watched that. Yeah. It, I mean, I watched this when I was eight years old, so we're talking almost 30 years ago, and it still is, like, so vivid in my mind. It really fucked me up. So <laughs> thanks, thanks, Dad. <laughs> All right. So, okay, let's just hey, jump you, into some you, shit here. You blame your dad. I blame, I blame early dial-up internet. <laughs> well, we had it on a VHS tape, so I really don't think it came directly from the internet. It was a, it was a legit movie. Like we bought no, yeah, 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 no, no, yeah, no. At the flea market, they they yeah, had them exactly on all the old like BBS dial-up websites. Oh, I'm sure, absolutely, yeah. You know, you'd have screenshots, you know, like JPEGs <laughs> of them. Oh God, swag are great. All these people are so great. All you people are so great. Minus one of you is not great. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's get right into some topics here. So, um, lanyards. Let's get right into some lanyards. Um, no, but um, 
I do have a pull up here on uh, myvaporstore.com. It's the Horizon Tech Arco Sub Ohm Tank. And this is the one that's coming with the flax paper uh, cooling or the flax paper uh, wicking system. So what it says here is that it features a brand new and very unique cotton and flax paper liquid guiding system. And it's not guiding. a wick, it's a guiding it's system. Guiding system. It's like a missile. It has guiding yeah. systems. It's like, like, come on. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Come on, little little liquid. There. <laughs> you, you, you can do it. Okay, so it's uh, the I'm Arco. You. Settle down over there. The Arco uh, Atomizer Heads utilizes a special combination of cotton and flax paper to create incredible flavor. Um, flax paper can hold more e-liquid than cotton and sends it straight to the coil, improving flavor, and most importantly of all, your overall vaping experience. Flax paper will also reduce the frequency of dry and burnt hits due to the higher burning point as well. So what they're saying is that flax paper has a higher burning point than cotton. Um, these atomizer heads will also gradually improve in flavor after frequently being exposed to e-liquid and heat. And the horizon is blah, 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 but it doesn't matter. So, I mean, that's a lot of really crazy um, uh, claims to say that things get better, you know, after you use them more. Hold on one second. Somebody's fucking at my door. I'll be right back. Bastards. So, so is the going to have a higher burning point than this stuff? <laughs> because I got told this stuff can burn like forever and still taste good. It does have a higher threshold of burn rate. Yeah. Settle down, you guys. Fuck. I leave for one second. Yeah, did you get that cleaned up? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. So I mean, so is this something that you guys would would be interested in? Would you not try it at all? Would you? I mean, do you think it's just? A flash in the pan, probably going to go away. If what somebody wants to about? send it to me, I'll, I'll check it out. Definitely. I have, I'm actually thinking about buying one. They're only 31 bucks, um, And I'm sure you could find them cheaper elsewhere. Um, oh, the paper thing? No, the actual tank itself. Oh, okay. Because I think I, I, I'm, the only ones I could find that use these coil heads is, is this specific tank. Yeah, I would probably not be interested. I'll let you guys guinea pig that. You know, uh, three weeks ago, Do Scott, uh, Mad Dog Vapes Scott, um, he actually had asked us to talk about this, but I had never heard of it up until that point, right? And when I Googled it then, three weeks ago, I couldn't find any any information about it. And so tonight I was just, uh, I had seen Rip Troopers um, had posted a video about these coil heads. And so I, I, I looked again and sure enough, they're, they're here now. So I don't know if they got them earlier in Europe. <clears throat> Because Scott's from the UK, so I don't know if they got him earlier there. Um, I don't know. And I don't know if these uh, are the only ones just, or not. Just, just the way that Rip was pulling them apart and they were coming apart just like the old ceramic, you know. Uh, yeah, like in sheets. sheets. Like in yeah. little sheets. Yeah. It, it had me a little uh, off put just because of the exact same way. I mean, they said that they had the exact same claims for the ceramic wicking as this flex when the ceramic uh, coil had started to come out. So it's like, yeah, all right, higher burning point. Okay, well, how come every time that I use a ceramic coil head, it tastes like shit after about 10 fucking minutes? Hey, you if know? you want a higher burning point, all you need to get is some anger rabbit cotton. Because that shit is burn proof, they say. That's one of the claims they make. It's it's burn proof. You can't burn it. I'm, I know. I'm, I'm still I, I don't burn my cotton. <laughs> No, I, I usually dry burn my cotton a few times before I, I wick it and wet it. So. Uh, yeah. I like it. Like I dropped it. the video on that. It, I know, I saw it. It's good yeah. cotton. Yeah, it's cotton. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's it. It works. That's it, yeah. It's fluffy. <laughs> it's really fluffy. Um, you know, that's let's talk a little bit about Anger Rabbit Cotton. Uh, I've seen a lot of people fucking with it. Um, uh, Life has a video about it, which is great. Um, it's it's Here's the deal. It's just cotton. Um, it's not like cotton bacon. Um, the way they those guys do it, they get rid of all the burrs. That, you know, they they really clean that cotton out. They put it in these little strips. You know, it's very convenient, and it's a really clean product. Now, Anger Rabbit is not dirty. It's not like a dirty cotton. It's not. There's nothing inherently wrong with it, but it's just not anything special. It's just cotton, and right. uh, it, to me, it looks just like the cotton they used to use for perms, where they would wrap uh, your head. You know. Oh. And so, you know, um, but I did send out a bunch of packages of it. Um, uh, who was it? I think um, Juan Castillo really liked it. 
he said it was really great. So, yeah, that's that's there it is. There it is for sure. I think I think what I really liked about it is the capability of taking a section and it stays right there no matter how far you pull it down. So if you get the right amount separated and you pull it, you can gauge on how much. Like, I can do it in, like, thirds. Yep. And then I'll bring down a third long enough to what I think will be two uh, two, two wicks. Pull, right. Cut it, and then I cut it in half, and then I roll it. Scottish, Scottish roll it in my hand and then I got two more thirds to that length and then I'll just do it there and it keeps nice and separated there so I don't I, know it, it it's easy it is yeah. no it's I actually go ahead no I was just gonna say it's uh would I recommend it over like Texas Tough or cotton bacon no but would I recommend it over um, a regular cotton ball a hundred a hundred percent yes I think it definitely works way better than the shit you're gonna get from Rite Aid it's gonna work way better than oh, yeah. silica or any of that other shit that people use for wicks um, it does function as a wick really well um, but I did notice that I had to burn it off a little bit before I used it because um, it has that cotton flavor to it you know um, and I haven't had to do that in a long time, but it, um, you know, it's not bad. I found like five poles. Yeah. Average four to five poles. I actually, if you, I know you probably seen that part where I put the required dubstep mix in there and sped up the video. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> oh God, I love it. Um, so recently, you know, talking about being a huge fan of cotton bacon and you guys having this, you know, perm style cotton perm style cotton right mm -hmm. the new native, native wicks, wicks premium blend i bet oh it's the my. same i bet it's the same fucking shit i bet you a hundred dollars it's the same i've cotton. been i've been doing the exact same the reason why i ran and grabbed it is life had triggered the exact i did the exact same thing here's i've re-wicked five times and i've only used strips that's so yeah. weird that the new you know, native wicks looks exactly like the new anger rabbit wicks. It's pretty unusual. And it's 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 but there's no cotton flavor on the native wicks one. Oh. I have no break in on this whatsoever. And uh it's actually been wicking uh better and uh, at higher temps uh than the cotton bacon has for me recently. Um cool. so you know it, it's it's something that I tried out. It's you know, I'm I'm putting it through its paces to, before I, you know change my mind about cotton bacon to native wicks but the amount that i get out of cotton bacon and have having to re-wick with the cotton bacon to this stuff i've already used uh, probably about a half a pack of cotton bacon there's and the i've big, only, there's I've the only big used one. and i've only used maybe about six inches of the native wicks okay so we got and a lot of yeah. we got a lot it's of got shit in five the, uh... feet yeah, it's got five feet of the shit in here. We got a lot you know, of shit in the yeah. chat to talk about about Angle Rabbit. Um, I wasn't trying to cut you. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, no, but um, so there's the the big point here is if you're on a, a very strict budget, um, something like Angle Rabbit is going to be probably one of your better bangs for the buck because it comes with so fucking much cotton in that pack. Um, yeah. Cotton bacon. I'm always running out of cotton bacon, which is you know, admittedly it's only five bucks. But still, it's like if you have to order it online, it can be a total pain in the ass. you got to wait a few days. Um, yep. So, um, Angle Rabbit is a good backup for me. That's what I've been I've been using it quite a bit because I'm going to do a review on it. Um, but I, I think I'll keep some around just as a backup for cotton bacon as well. So, right. um, some of the people in chat, um, Jesse D won some, um, likes it a lot. Uh, Juan Castillo <laughs> loves it. <laughs> um, Carrie M really likes it as well. S said the same thing that I did. It has a little bit of break in time, but after that, it's good. Um, and uh, the link says, uh, I like it. It's usable. All Day Vape said it's better than Muji pads, which I, I fucking could not agree more. I and mean, it is so much better than your average cotton. It definitely is. And um, yeah, it's crazy absorbent was the other thing I wanted to say. Yeah, right. it really is. It's so <clears throat> fluffy and it's so absorbent. It really, really I, is. Which, again, which... Go ahead. Uh, the same same thing, you know, if, you, if you're looking for more of like a premium style, you know, this stuff, uh, a premium price rather, as opposed to Angora, the native Wix stuff, it's probably around the same price point, but it, it's exact same properties, again, you know, uh, this this bag cost me ten bucks, and like I said, I've already 
used enough what would be about a half a bag of cotton bacon and I barely even broken into this thing and I've had it yeah. for two weeks now. So that's what I was gonna ask you, Paul, was is that ten bucks is that retail like uh Oh this is yeah, ten bucks ten bucks retail. From a from a vape shop. From a shop. You, from a shop. Can yeah. you get it cheaper or not? Uh, I haven't checked online to see if it is cheaper, you know, but uh, 10 bucks retail at the local uh, e-cig barn. I, you know, granted that's where I always go, but cause you know, I mean, Hey, right, but, right. Uh, <laughs> but you know, 10 bucks walk in and you get triple the amount of cotton that you would in cotton bacon. And it lasts a hell of a lot longer, you know, which one I, is, is that what they're calling the platinum blend? Yes, this is the platinum blend. Okay, Breezy has it for five eighty four. Good. Uh, good Giant one. Babes has it for seven ninety nine. Local yeah, Babe eight bucks. It's all right in the same category. Yeah, it's yeah. all right. In, right, so you'd you'd expect to pay about eight, eight to ten bucks at a B and M. Find it for five to eight bucks online. Yeah, typical. That's prices. the other thing. The Angora Rabbit's five bucks too. Yeah. It's all it's all roughly priced around the same, so right. But you're gonna get a lot more quantity with something right. like the Anger Rabbit as opposed to cotton bacon. Right. Yep. And slushy vapes just priced it at my favorite online retailer, which is Lightning Vapes, and it's seven ninety nine there. So. And Mad Dog actually said that he has some of the native wicks as well too. So That's good. we know it's available over in the UK market. And if anybody wants to order anything from Lightning Vapes, um, there's a permanent code. It's LV15. That's going to get you 15% off of, uh, of your order. It's not a code specific to me. It's just a code that I was given a long time ago. And um, I've used it every single time I've ordered from them, and it still works. And so if you guys want to use it, it's LV15. Um, they do not have free shipping anymore, which is it's kind of a drag. But um, they do have shipping for 3 bucks. And so like, I just made a huge order of wire because... For tonight's coil, the staggered coil, I went through hundreds of feet of wire trying to make one of these fucking things right. And so I ran out of cotton. I ran out of uh, wire. So I ordered a bunch, 45 bucks worth, got me a ton of wire and um, three bucks shipping. And then with 15% off, it saved me like seven bucks. So basically, it's like free shipping um, with that code. Uh, I have a question. Is there... Uh... Is there business back up to speed now? They they are. Um, there's some things that they don't have 100% stock on yet. Like uh, some of their coils or some of their wire was like some of the gauges they didn't have and, and some of the feet, like the footage they didn't have. Like I wanted to order 250 feet of, uh, of the 0.3 ribbon wire, but they only had like 50 feet spools of it or something like that. So And there was quite a bit of that going on. They're getting back. Um, they had a lot of options you know, available. So they're getting there. Yeah. Why does Yeti like Muji so much? You're going to have to wait and ask him, bud. <laughs> I have Muji. <laughs> yeah, I never liked that shit. It's just for the, the reason that you get a brick of it. Yeah. 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 You know? That's it. He probably goes back to his old days. You know, he likes to get bricks of things. <laughs> he likes to get big white bricks. <laughs> big old white it. bricks. I'm with it. Yeah, so Train, they, they are not fully stocked up yet, but they, they are getting there for sure. Yeah, they had a big fire. So if anybody doesn't know, Lightning Vapes had a big fire um, in one of their warehouses. It destroyed quite a bit of their of their stock um, on wire and, and tons of juice and different shit. So, but and it, this only know, happened. It only happened like four weeks ago. Yeah, was, was that's very, why I was, I was curious if uh, if you had been over there recently, if they're back up to speed. Yeah, I, I actually had. Yeah, no, no, totally, and I, and I'm glad you did because uh, I had gone. Um, like, like two weeks ago to try to order a bunch of wire and they did not have hardly anything so um, they're way way more stock than they were two weeks ago and uh, Kenny B brings up a point the ribbon wire is a little wonky I have had a lot of problems with the ribbon wire as well it will stick inside the spool and it will yep. get bound up in, inside of, it, of itself so yeah um, it's ribbon wire you know it's, it's not a, it's not the easiest thing to work with but no. yeah there are probably better places <laughs> to get ribbon wire kidney puncher <laughs> but I just love Lightning Babes. Um, the people over there are great fucking people, and they really, really are in this for the long run. It's not like a flash in the pan company. But, like that's what haunts vaping a lot is that we have a lot of little companies that are just in it to make a quick buck, and then they're out. Um, Lightning Babes is definitely not that company. So, no, they've been around forever. They have been around forever. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so um, yeah, Juan brings up a point. Um, stagger coils uh, 
turned out to be a fucking nightmare for me. Um, and not just me, a couple other people that entered, entered them into the show tonight also had a lot of problems with them. Um, I actually could not make one this week or last week because we didn't do the show last week. So what I ended up doing was I was going through all my old coils and I found one that I had made in the past. And so I'm just using that one for tonight. So it was a nightmare. And I ran out of wire. So I had to post up one of my old Instagram photos of a coil that I had made in the past. So. And then you're going to see like the one that Yeti uh, entered, the one that Kenny B entered. Um, they, they fucking make us look stupid with their coils. Who's got the bag of chips? What? <laughs> Knock Stop it off! It. Fucking quit it, goddammit! Fucking doofuses? <laughs> that, that wasn't me at first. I don't know who the fuck that was at first. Nobody I don't know knows. Either. Couldn't have been Lifa. Lifa, you got a bag of chips. Uh, I got a nut sack. <laughs> 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 Keep it, keep out of that. Don't be eating them on the show. Keep the nuts out your mouth. Keep, yeah, keep, keep your hands off your sack. <laughs> yeah, Kenny Buncher is good for um, some things. Uh, they're, first off, the, the, this is uh, in response to something on the chat. So if you're watching a replay of this, um, try to keep up. Um, yeah, Kenny Buncher has some good things. Their site is a nightmare to navigate. It like it looks like a GeoCity site from 1995. It's not they, a good site. I believe they updated it from what I'll, I saw. I'll check it right now. Because last time I was there, it was not updated. <laughs> and, you know, um, they also just don't have everything I want in one place, which is, uh, you know, even though the quality of the ribbon wire not, might not be perfect at Lightning Vapes, I can go to Lightning Vapes and get every single kind of wire I want all in one place. So, Right. Let's see. Yeah, the new mobile site. Yep. I'll be damned. They did fucking update their site. Holy <clears throat> shit. Yep. I, I saw that from one wow. of the managers over at KP. So this changes everything. Yes, it does. No, not really. Holy crap. Not really. But I will go here more now. Okay. So let's talk about some of this advocacy stuff. Um, so this uh, judicial watch uh, is, is a. Uh, Obviously, it's a judicial watchdog group. Um, they're seeking records from the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, and the Office of the Surgeon General regarding the claimed cancer-causing effects of electronic cigarettes as compared to those of traditional cigarettes. Effects which led the FDA to enforce the harsh regulations that are threatening to decimate the vaping industry. Um, so it was filed on May 5th in the U.S. District Court in Washington. And um, they decided to take legal action after repeated requests to the related agencies were ignored, which is something that we've seen a lot of. Um, the FDA and the CDC have ignored congressmen and senators and, you know, public watchdog groups. They just will not respond to anybody, and uh, which is, you know, odd in and of itself. And, um, yeah, you know, so this is really good. I, I hope to see something come of this, although, you know, who knows? They did file a freedom, an FOIA, a Freedom of Information Act request. So um, it would be really hard for them not to respond to this, but I still don't have 100% confidence. So what do you guys think? I hope it works. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, why, why, why this fucking, this wall of silence from the FDA? Because they can't fight, they have nothing. Because they can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, like, we're talking, like, when a, when a senator cannot get information from a government agency, the, the, what's going on there? That, that's what's so, um, the, is so interesting to me, is that it's like, hey, I can understand just ignoring the public, right? They shouldn't, but they do. Um, but you, Look at it this way. If you don't make a statement, you don't have to defend your statement. Absolutely. My problem, what I was afraid of was just that there's money here, that there, somehow somebody involved with the FDA is, has, has money, maybe they have investments, heavy investments in Philip Morris or some of these bigger um, tobacco companies. I mean, this, we're talking conspiracy theories now, but there has to be something here to, to have such a stonewall effect from the FDA. I, if they were really confident in their science, they would be screaming it from the rooftops, you know, but. Um, we, actually, we this is. This is nothing new at all, Travis. You know, if you go back to, um, uh, what was it? The, um, 
about the uh, health the supplements. Food. Yeah, the supplements about okay. 10, 15 years ago. And they, they were going through the same thing. Everybody was selling like, uh, you know, whatever, kinkajee boba and, you know, brain pills and stuff for um, bodybuilders and that kind of stuff. And then the FDA was cracking down and they did the same kind of thing to that industry where, <clears throat> you know, they were basically trying to gut that industry. And once again, it was pharmaceutical mo money. You know, they didn't want these people to just be able to be making a living and selling healthy products to people. And it took them 10 years wow. and they finally won, you know? So uh, something maybe I don't know enough about the FDA. So maybe somebody on the panel or in the chat can let us know, but um, does the FDA have a, um, an, an elected official as the head or is it a placed official? Like does the president um, nominate somebody to head he's the a, FDA? He's appointed. He's appointed. Okay. So they're definitely, I mean, it's not without, it's not out of the realm of possibility that there could be financial interest being protected by the head of the FDA. Correct. Well, and historically, um, a lot, of the, especially with our previous FDA heads, they had previous ties to pharmaceutical companies. So typically the, for the last three or four of them, they would come up through the ranks and they were CEOs and stuff of big pharmaceutical corporations like Pfizer, et cetera, et cetera. And then lo and behold, they become the head of the FDA. So, you know, you're, and then to say that they're not, they don't have a vested interest in, uh, you know, helping the companies that they just left as CEOs, yeah. you know. That's the problem, man. We, I mean, we, it's, it's painfully obvious, really. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know what, and that, that's the problem is that you're right, it's so obvious. But then we have such an entrenched political class in this country that if you try to say stuff like that and say, like, look, it's just obvious that you have an interest financially in these companies that you once worked for. And now you're you're in charge of regulating. And um, and if you say that, they go, well, you're just being paranoid. You know, like, this is this isn't some right wing conspiracy, guys. This is and it's like, no, you know, but but money influences people, you know, uh, everybody, you know, so. <clears throat> There's just no way around that. And if, if you look at things like uh, our new, um, you know, uh, Secretary of State or whatever his name is, Rex Tillerson, um, who was the CEO of fucking Exxon Mobil and is now trying to get rid of the sanctions in Russia that stopped a $500 billion deal uh, and an oil deal that he had going on. So it's like literally uh, they're not even trying to hide it anymore. It's like we're just going to put the people in place mm -hmm. that want it, that, that have these interests that will do what we want them to do, which is get rid of regulations and allow businesses basically to run amok in America. And not the businesses that you want to have freedoms, but the businesses that we already own. So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, that's the thing that, that the vaping thing is, is so new that these guys have no interest in it because they're not making any fucking money off of it. And they don't give a fuck if you die or if your mom dies or whatever. So it's just sad. well, there's a lot the, the, there's a lot of money ex at stake, you know, and uh, like the like the Billion Lives movie illustrates. It's not just one, you know, um, big tobacco is big money. Big pharmaceutical is big money. Big charity is big money. So, you know, it's not just one. It's it's all about money, but it's more than one entity in the equation there. And, you know, the FDA is just another example of how usually CEOs of big corporations get put into high positions in government. Yeah. So... I actually just found, uh, I remember seeing this the other day and it, it didn't pop into my head until just recently, until uh, we started this topic. Um, Dimitri uh, shared a uh, article from the Associated Press, um, House Panel Seeks to Block FDA E-Cigarette Rules. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I saw that. Yeah, the legislation approved Wednesday by the Republican-controlled Appropriations Committee would prevent the FDA from requiring retroactive safety reviews of e-cigarettes already on the market. It would exempt some premium and large cigars from the same regulations. E-cigarettes um, introduced in the future would face the safety reviews. 
So ultimately, the Appropriations Committee is trying to put a halt on the regulation date of 2007, bring it up to a more current grandfathered date, and then anything from that date forward would face the regulations, which is, I'm okay with that. I, I am 100% okay with that, yeah. you know, uh, because, yes, we do need regulation. We I'm not really okay with the regulations they have in place right now. To be I'm not, right, right. I'm, I'm okay with regulation for safety concerns. I'm not okay with saying, well, <laughs> the only thing that you can use is a fucking Sega like that came out in 2007 in China that uh, didn't do shit for anybody. That's why it never fucking cleared the patent, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and my thoughts on it are we get that in place, get the grandfather date up, moved up. So everything in place there. And then they move through with the Duncan Hunter bill, which yep. changes how things have to be regulated and go through the process. Right. And then it's going to be, you know, things are going to be in, set in how we want them to be regulated and work, work you know? right. Work with us once we get, yep. The pro the provisions in place, but you're you know, right. We got one thing at a time. We got to get that grandfather date moved, and that's the right. biggest hurdle right now is getting that grandfather date moved. Right to at least 2016, if not current date. I mean, it should be current date. Um, but I mean, if well, they want to go back to when they pass these deeming regulations, I would. The, that's the, at least a victory. The appropriations committee's uh, legislation that they just approved through uh, that they're trying to push uh, now further would be it wouldn't be retro um there wouldn't be any retroactive it would be from the date that the bill gets signed into oh, okay. legislation on so it would be a current up to 2017 from what i understand from reading the article i'd be okay with that i'd be absolutely 100 percent fine with that yep, yep. absolutely on a, on a bright note um going forward i think that it would be very difficult for them to put the genie back in the bottle at this point. I mean, right, yeah. this would be tantamount to saying, um, you know, we don't like the fact that you have a uh, uh, 2017 cell phone. And so it'd be in our best interest if we make everybody go back to the, the Nokia 3000. I like those right. phones, though, so I'd be all right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, that, thing was, yeah. that thing was fucking Sorry, everybody, everybody has to go back to the flip phones, yeah. and that's the way it's going to be. Well, I mean, that, uh, I, hate to say, I hate it's to say it, but that, I hate to say it, but that's kind of happening right now in the cell phone industry because they, they want you to lease a phone, and if you're grandfathered in, it fucks up your whole plan if you lease the phone. They don't take. They won't allow you to grant take your. Well, we're not talking. Plan. We're talking about hardware. We're talking about hardware. Well, no, that, that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Uh, that that your your contract with them is null and void if you lease the phone. If you if you've been grandfathered. Well, take yet, it up so. with Verizon, Paul. Yeah, I have. Oh, I have. <laughs> My wife just paid six hundred dollars for a fucking cell phone because it wouldn't fuck. Well, it up sounds like the problems with your wife, my friend. No, no, <laughs> no, no. Don't say that, Travis. You're gonna get me beat up. No. no. Like, okay, let, Travis. Uh, we, maybe we, that was the wrong, uh, the wrong <laughs> analogy. Let's go with this analogy. All right. So Oscar Mayer invents. Hot dogs that you can stuff cheese right into the middle of them. All right? <laughs> did. And okay. then they're like, oh, we no, we're not going to allow that. You can't do that. We're going to. No, no adding flavor. That's right. We got to go back seven years before we had injection technology. Yeah. Is no, that better? You're right. You're right. 100%. No. Um, so and that means no chili in the inside either. Do you remember the chili the hot dogs? Holy the, shit. The freaking lava. Yeah. Yeah. Shooter oh into your mouth. <laughs> I love it when a when a when it's something that's tube shaped that's made out of meat just shoots liquid in my mouth. Sexy stream. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, I did want to say there was a little update about the San Francisco thing. We've seen a lot of pushback um, on this San Francisco flavor ban. Um, you know, we've seen some uh, some some lawsuits coming up about it. Um, so. Things aren't as bleak as last time we were here and we were talking about San Francisco. It's looking more and more like uh, there's going to be maybe they were going to pull back a little bit on that that ban. Um, that's not it for sure, but that's just what I've been hearing a lot of is that um, they're starting to second guess their their whole 
flavor ban. You know, the, the problem with this is um, these whole, a lot of these bans and shit is that we're talking about something that's like totally um, bipartisan. You know, we got Democrats that are fucking hammering the e-cigarette business and we mm. have Republicans that are hammering the e-cigarette business. Um, you know, we have the, the outliers who are trying to do the right thing and, and who want to get rid of all this bullshit. Um, but we're seeing a, a big push from both sides. And, and that's because both sides are corrupted by money, you know, which we already talked about. But mm. but we are seeing, you know, what, what it all comes down to is we still have the right to vote these people out of office. And we're mm. seeing a lot of that in San Francisco, people saying, go ahead and fucking ban it. But you're not going to be here in four years or two years or six years, you know, whatever, for state senators. So, yeah, but look at Prop 56 in California last year. You know, we didn't really stand a chance on that because of the numbers. You got 80, 90 percent of the population that doesn't smoke and doesn't use e cigarettes. Yeah. And they put something into the back of a bill. And even if, you know, you're not going to sway 50 percent of the population to vote against something that they don't care about. 100% right. 100% right. That's why, you know, that was the big holdup on legalizing marijuana was that there was this like, there was this, it was a really big issue for for a small Years. portion of the, of the population. But then, you know, but then the majority just didn't care enough to to vote for it. And we finally got now where people understand the the complexities of the, the, the legal system when it comes to nonviolent drug offenders and how we're stuffing our prisons full of, uh, of young black men for marijuana offenses. And so we're seeing a lot of like political interest in those topics. And we just need something similar for vaping. It should be obvious that, hey, this is going to save lives. But there's just people just don't care. You know, uh, people are so self-absorbed that we just see a lot of people that's just like, I don't care. I don't care if you die. I don't care if your mom dies. You know, and the link has a great point. Uh, self-regulation is a start and that's always been something we've been pushing um, mm -hmm. from juice companies not fucking having labels that are, are pandering to children um, you know just making sure that you're producing things in clean environments there's a lot of things we can do as a community to make make it an easier transition to regulation and just makes it so that we have some regulations in place so that they can ask us and like hey what would good regulations look like and we can say well what we're already doing, you know, we're doing it in these clean rooms as far as e-liquid. When it comes to hardware, we're doing extensive testing, battery safety testing, all that kind of shit. But but we really don't see any of that. China is pumping out as many devices as they can per month. It's like there's always like 15, 20 new devices. Every company is coming out with a new mod. And you know there's just, there's no time. Newsflash, you can't regulate China. No, I know. But they can, <laughs> so. but they can, but they can regulate what comes into the country. Correct. But yeah. that's all they can do. If China has a market for it, if they can sell it, they're doing it already. You know, they're, China is complying with uh, TPD. Yeah. They're making smaller tanks and this and that. You know, whatever they can sell, they will sell it. Well, that's what I mean is that, is that if we just, if they wait for these regulations to come, they're going to get fucking cleaned out. But if they were to say, hey, look, as an industry, we're going to try to make sure that things are safe. Um, you know, because like I've seen plenty of devices coming out of China that were shitty. They were just not well designed and maybe they were well designed, but they just weren't tested. And so then yeah. you get a device that stops working after after a couple of days or it sort of has a shorting problem or the 510s fucked up. There's always something it seems like, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> so are you thinking that there someday there'll be like a um, UL listing like they do with electronics where, you know, you can sell lamps at Menards, but they have to have the UL sticker on them? I would hope so. I mean, that's what I would hope for. It was Which something just they, a safety they, testing. They, they've been tested by that, you know. By that organization. They, yes. Yeah, I mean, that's hopefully, right? But, I mean, what does that look like? We're, we're so far away from that, so, you know. All right, so, okay. Um, now, moving on to something else. We'll talk about one more uh, topic when it comes to advocacy, and then we'll move on to something else. But so, uh, Michigan, uh, U.S. smoking is on the on the decline, partly thanks to e-cigarettes. Um, the percentage of smokers in the Midwestern state remains above national average. However, both the number of smokers and the rates of lung cancer are on the decline, partly thanks to the advent of electronic cigarettes. Um, so, uh, Michigan News uh, has said that since the 80s, cigarette sales in the state have dropped by two thirds. However, the rates of lung cancer are slower in catching up with these figures, as the people who were fervent smokers at the time are now aging, hence, you know, still manifesting cancers. Uh, cigarette sales in Michigan peaked in 1981 at an estimated 1.4 billion packs 
Uh, by 2015, sales had plummeted to approximately 440 million packs, which is still a fucking lot. Um, so the State Department of Treasury uh, attributes part of the decline to smokers uh, purchasing cigarettes from out of state. However, health surveys uh, clearly indicate that the number of smokers has dropped a significant 11% from 2012 to 2015, which in, is not a coincidence that that is also the time that uh, electronic cigarettes really, really took off, was from 2012 on. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we're just seeing a lot more of these correlations between um, the, the drop in smoking rates and the advent of electronic cigarettes. So it's mm -hmm. just it's cool to see, you know, the state treasuries of, of places like Michigan, which is which is, you know, a Midwest state, which you know has very conservative politics for the most part, you know, really stepping up and saying, hey, look, this is what the data is showing us. No fear mongering. This is just data. And that's all we need. We need data because the data is going to bear out what we've always always been saying is that this is way safer than smoking. So it's just good. Yep. It's just good. We need more states to step up and do the right thing. Yep. Okay. And so then uh, on that same topic of data, uh, the CDC has some data uh, dispelling the infamous gateway theory. And if you don't know what that means, it's people are saying that if, if kids, young kids uh, will start vaping, and then switch to cigarettes. Um, but <laughs> that never really made a lot of sense to me, but you know, um, people have, that's a way that people have spread these, you know, fear mongering, like, hey, your kids are gonna start smoking because of these electronic cigarettes. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, the, as of the 16th of June, um, it, they had some studies that clearly indicated that uh, smoking rates amongst high school students were cut in half in only five years. So between 20, 2011 and 2016, those rates were cut in half. So um, also around the time that electronic cigarettes were becoming really popular. So, you know, I think that it's, uh, it's that a coincidence. Was a, that was a CDC release study? Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. It said, uh, so yeah, so during the same, during this, uh, more, during the same time, vaping amongst the same age group increased from 1.5% to a peak of 16% in 2015. Um, so the uh, the percentage of high school students using e-cigarettes has also dropped um, for the first time since the advent of electronic cigarettes. Vaping decreased from 16% in 2015 to 11.3% in 2016. So mm -hmm. while while smoking in that same period dropped from 9.3% to 8%. So what we're seeing is that people are using electronic cigarettes as cessation devices. You know, which I don't use it as a cessation device. I use it as a nicotine delivery device. Um, but people do use it in that in that way. So you'll see, an, uh, you know, a correlation between people stopping to smoke and start vaping, but then they'll stop vaping at a certain point as well. So mm -hmm. it's pretty awesome. And and also, you know, the teenagers that they're looking at, the teenagers these days look at any of that as I don't want to do that. They're, they're looking at smoking and they've seen enough happen with their families with smokers that they're like, no. And you know, all of us old dudes are, are doing the vaping. It's lame to do something that an old dude would be doing. Absolutely. So, of course, it's it's going to be on the decline. It's, it's nothing new anymore. And, you know, that's the thing is I think that um, we're going to see, like, I don't think that this might be a little controversial. I don't think vaping is going to be a permanent thing because I think you're right. I think that as, as the generations keep going on, we're going to see people having no interest in any of the nicotine delivery systems, whether it be cigarettes, cigars you know, chewing tobacco or vaping. It's going well, it's well, to be outdated. I mean, think about it. Ideally, if you have kids, you don't want them vaping or smoking. So, nope. you know, if the, if it trends that way and, and you know, hopefully in a future generation, the kids are like, I'm not going to do any of that stupid yeah. shit. Well, and if you want to look at, like, some history, you, you got people that bet, you know, I don't know how many decades you want to go back, but everybody was using pipes. To get yeah. that, that nicotine delivery. Now you hardly hear of anyone having pipes unless they're collectors of the pipes, and that's the only reason that they use them. Absolutely. No, I, I remember well, I remember people in, smoking pipes when I was a kid. Like my in nineteen hundred, in the year nineteen hundred, all men wore hats. They wore hats everywhere. And suits and ties. Yep. So shit changes. Shit changes, yeah. And that's you know, that's what I hope. Like as much as I love vaping. And I love the industry. What I would hope someday is that there would be no cigarette smoking and there would be no vaping. There would be no need for it. You know, uh, LiPo is right that, that we're a bunch of old guys who started smoking. And this has been a life, like a, a, a lifeline to us to really a life help saver. us. A lifesaver. Absolutely. Yeah. And, um, you know, 
hopefully my son won't ever smoke or won't ever need to vape, you know, and, I, and I'm sure everybody else feels the same way. So hopefully it's just our generation that needs this, maybe one more generation, you know, but it's going to be less and less every generation until there's just no point in having it anymore. Yeah, there's still a long way to go there. There's a lot yeah. of smoke out there. So. You're right. And then the uh, other countries like Japan and China, mm -hmm. smoking is yeah. still a really big thing. It's a culturally they there's a lot of smokers, so you know. In France. In France, yeah. Yep. You know what's funny? When I was uh, when I was a kid. We come from France. <laughs> there was a yeah, there was a cigarette from France and it was called um L C L C M be something anyways it, the, the, it was an acronym for longer cigarettes mean longer cigarette breaks and it was a cigarette that was this fucking long it was so fucking long and it came in these big boxes and my friend bought some from france when he went on vacation there and uh he brought them back and we would sit outside and fucking smoke those things and you'd get about halfway through and it'd be dripping tar off the tip of it and shit <laughs> so gross man we would fucking smoke the whole things we were like 16 17 just oh god <laughs> It's like, oh, we're going on a smoke break for an hour. <laughs> oh God. I'm going to hot box this last eight inches. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> it would be just so floppy by the time you got to the last half of it. It was so gross. Oh, my God. Oh, I'd never heard of those, but it sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah. I, hopefully they don't make them anymore. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> but there's some really hardcore cigarettes out there. Like I used to have a boss who smoked Nat Sherman's, and he would smoke two yeah. packs a day. Now, I don't know if anybody has ever fucked with those things, but there's really, like really dark and they're really, really heavy smoke. And um, I would smoke like two of them when I was working for him and I would be like sick and he would smoke them constantly. Like one of those guys who would smoke them and then light one with the, the burning cigarette, throw that one away and keep smoking. Yeah. God. I, he's still alive. Amazingly. You know, he drank a lot, smoked a lot of cigarettes. Yeah. Italian guy, of course. So. Well, then he's well preserved. <laughs> yes, you know, he's, he's pickled. <laughs> he was pickled, man. There's no doubt about it. Oh God, he was he was a cool guy though. But yeah, Ronnie Wood jeans. I don't know what that is. Rolling Stones. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I'm I'm not old enough. Okay. What you didn't miss anything, Link? <laughs> you didn't miss anything. All right. Okay. So, let's look at some coils then. I guess, huh? We're getting close to the end of the show. Uh, let's look at some coils, and then we'll do a little bit of wrap-up, and we'll be done. I got to figure out how to do this again, though. Okay. I got to share the screen with you guys. Yep, that's the one. Okay, there we go. There's my screen. Now, I think they can see it. Yep. Can you guys see it? I don't think clean as fuck coils is in the chat, um, which is unfortunate, but he did send some coils. We're going to start with his. Um, they look great. Uh, of course, you know, this guy is, is on Instagram. You can check him out. It's clean. Uh, I think it's clean underscore AF uh, coils. Am Click I... on the first one. Bring it up bigger. Oh, I'm going to for sure. I just oh, want to do, I just wanted to introduce them. So here's this. So with the coils for tonight are staggered coils. You could be any, could be staggered Clapton's. It could be a half stagger, whatever, right? We didn't really uh, uh, put a limit on it, but so this is what he entered and it is a, a, a multi-core uh, uh, staggered coil. Let's zoom in here. As you can see here, it's got the, you know, it's got like three, four, five, six cores. Oh, and looks then like he he corrugated the center core. He did too. It looks looks great. Yeah, and then yeah. he's and he's also a stage heating because he's got the round wire here in the middle of, right. of, of each wrap, which is going to make it heat up a lot faster. And when you have this much wire in a coil, it's really important to do that because uh, this is what stage heating is all for: is to get these kind of big juicy coils heated up quicker. So <clears throat> this is Clean's coil. <clears throat> I think it looks amazing. It's just beautiful. So we have some more shots of this one in particular. Let me go ahead and. Here's a glow shot of it. It's got the four wraps, my personal favorite. Um, just gorgeous, fucking gorgeous. And you can see the, the stage heating effects here. Um, here in the middle, you see how uh, white hot this round wire uh, piece is right in the middle um, as compared to even the ones right next to it. It's gonna heat up so much faster because there's just less uh, density there, less mass. Here's another glow shot, also highlighting the stage heating effect. And here's an afterburn shot. Just gorgeous. Absolutely wonderful. Nice. 
So clean, you did a great job. Uh, I think they're they're awesome. Okay, so uh, is, is this yours, Paul? Yes, it is. Well, we can't see it. <laughs> it looked better when I first put it up. Yeah. <laughs> you, did a, you, did a, you did a really nice shot of the top of your mod. Yeah, it's yeah. It's very fucking that clean. Also, that was also that was also the uh, the first <laughs> real time I was trying to take pictures of coils for Instagram back in 2015. I get it though. Uh, I can see it here. You got your, is it uh, is it a staggered fuse Clapton? Staggered fuse Clapton. Okay. Uh, it's twenty four gauge uh, Canthal core with uh, thirty gauge uh, staggered over it. And you can see here. Um, here's the, uh, here's one section of the of the actual. You got two different Claptons, and then you Clapton those, right? Yeah, it's space yeah. Claptons, and yeah. then you you uh, you stagger it with yeah. uh, you fuse it together. Yep. So there you go. It's similar to mine, um, but yours looks like it might be a little bigger gauge wire. Do you know what gauge yeah. it was? It was uh, 24 for the uh, cores, 30 for the uh, outer wraps, and that was 5 wrap on a 2.5 mil uh, ohmed out to a point two two. That was an awesome single coil base. <clears throat> looks dope. Okay, and next we have, okay, I got I to gotta exit out here so I can see this. Whose it is? Oh no! What the hell am I doing here? Ah, uh, it's up at the very top, Jason Welker. Oh god. Okay. I gotta. What the fuck did I do now? Damn it! <laughs> Wrong it. folder. Okay, Wrong hold on. Folder. Let me stop sharing. Let me share again. Oh, that, that was the porn folder. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I say a penis? I can still see it. Damn it. Okay, if I exit this, is it gonna close out everything? Um, go go to that box that's at the very top. You see oh, where there's a box, and then there's those. And, and then. no, that's not gonna do it for me. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah. Let me just. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Um, shit. Yeah, close just, out. I want to exit. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. go. Yeah. I just want, I didn't know if that was gonna close out everything. Okay, so this is Jason <laughs> Walker. Um, here we go. So this is a. It's another staggered fuse Clapton. Nice. Very nice looking. Yeah. We'll get in there and zoom in on it. Yeah, it looks good. Looks very good. Yeah. Two, three, four, five wraps. Probably ohms out to better. about the same as Paul's, about two, point two. Better than what I can do. Yeah, better than what I can do too. That looks actually pretty clean. Okay. Looks good. No, I can't skip until I go all the way down. Okay, there we go. All right, so here's Juan Castillo's Oops. staggered weights that he used to make his staggered coils. <laughs> and here's... Uh, here's Okay, so Juan sent me two separate uh, batches of coils, okay? So he sent me one last week, uh, one, like, one little uh, shoot of, uh, of this coil. Um, so this is the one he made for last week, but then he sent me another new one, too. So this is this is his first set. And now this is the second set. This is the set he sent me today, I think. So, and one I think had as much trouble as I did, but this is you know exactly what we're looking for. It's a staggered fuse clapton, so looks good. That that actually looks like it'd be pretty damn tasty with all the nooks and crannies in there. Oh yeah, all those little channels. <laughs> now that's why I like staggered fuse claptons because there's there's just so many little pockets that the juice can sit and fucking boil away. I love it. Yeah. And then here's another shot of it. Yeah, I think you're right. You know, these big these ones that are just like a bird's nest style coil are always the most flavorful. But I bet that has a fucking hellacious ramp up time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now oh, just back to just more put it in more your stuff. max uh, 300 watts. Yeah, absolutely. So you know what I think actually that I like the looks of the first set. This is from the first set as well. I think I like the, the looks of that one better. But I think that flavor-wise, the second set is probably going to be way more flavorful. Man, that totally looks like Angora Rabbit Cotton. It, I think it probably is Angora Rabbit Cotton. <laughs> and he's got the Revenant mod, which is fucking dope. I fucking love the Revenant mod. Now, here's from Kenny B. This is the picture he sent oh, me. Oh. Now, this is fucking a whole other level of coil building. Um, something that I could never do. I don't have the patience for it. Um, let me just look at it. It's a, it's got fuse, it's got Claptons here, uh, space Claptons, 
Then it's got looks like round wire or flat wire. I mean, um, with some other shit here in the middle. All right, all right. Alien. I can I, I can tell you exactly what it okay, is. Okay, let's let's hear so it. So you're looking at uh, staggered fuse Clapton's on the outside, right? Uh, staggered alien on the inside, <clears throat> yep. and it's a staggered fused alien. If you actually look, there's a. Uh, in between, you can actually see a couple of cores of flat wire, mm -hmm. and then he's got the flat wire um, on the exteriors of the alien, like a frame, like a frame, fra framed, like framed, like right, a frame right. But as as opposed to it being frame staple, where it's uh, vertical, it's laying flat it's horizontally. horizontally. Yep. So, and that's, that's a fucking, and that's, that's and a dope coil. It's a dope coil, and that's not flat. It's not ribbon wire. That is flat wire. I, I would, that is I flat would wire. reckon, I would reckon so. It does not look like ribbon wire. So yeah, yeah, it's there's ribbon wire inside the the alien, but that is yeah. definitely flat wire, polished uh, flat wire. Yeah, yeah, polished flat wire. Yeah. I mean, it looks gorgeous, absolutely fucking gorgeous. And the cool well, thing Ken, is, um, Kenny's, Kenny's gonna be sending in chat, me. So. Oh, he is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, of course so he, he can. Is. He square can wire, us. square wire with alien. Yep. So I'm looking forward. Kenny's gonna send me some coils. I'm really looking forward to them. Um, Kenny, if, if uh, let me go ahead and give you a wrench here, Kenny. Um, if you want to go ahead and put, if you have uh, somewhere where you're selling these coils, if you want to put it into the chat, you're more than welcome to do that. I didn't think it works. I oh, know I did. Okay. Yeah. So you're a moderator now, Kenny. If you want to put something in the chat, um, like a link, go ahead. Um, you know, absolutely. I always like to um, support one of my, my friends and uh, their business ventures. So Kenny B. Now here's mine. Okay, this is just a little glamour shot. I'm stripping it down, showing you a little fucking tit shot there. Um, now I got it on the goon. It's what I use whenever I'm doing these coil showcases because it's such an easy way to uh, throw a coil in there real quick. Now this is a, um, it's a fused, it's a, what do you call it? <laughs> a staggered fused Clapton. Um, it's one that I made a long time ago. Um, here's a, a picture of it. It's not the greatest picture, but. And it's not the greatest coil. I mean, you can see here, this wrap is a little smaller than these other wraps. Um, but it is, in essence, what we were trying to go for here, so. My camera just will not take good pictures lately, so. But uh, this coil is a flavor beast, and it's, you know, it's just dope. It's just a dope look at all those little nooks and crannies. I love it. All right. Um, so what do you think for next week, Paul? What do you want to do for... Um, Coil showcase. Because Yeti's, Yeti's not here. I was thinking, um, I just got the idea. We've done parallel coils, but we didn't do specifically staged heating coils. Okay. Now, that could be a lot of different things, and so it could really mm -hmm. open up the possibilities. Yeah, we could definitely do a staged heating coil. Um, you know, I mean, yeah. Yeah, staged heating, definitely. And you need to, you, you have to submit a glow shot of the staged heating. Yes. Okay, let's so, do that. Staged heating. Because anybody right. can do those. I mean, you could you could literally do a twisted wire with a piece of round wire, and you got. You a could even do two different gauges of a single, of you know, uh, of round wire. Yeah. You know, may, simplistic is sometimes better. You know, uh, and you don't have to go all crazy fancy. You know, we'll just keep it at staged heating. Oh shit. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. No, no. Stay cheating with the with the glow shot as well as a clean shot of the the freshly uh, built coil. Okay, so we have one more to put up. Um, I'm sorry, I totally. I, I downloaded it, but I didn't put it in the folder. Um, but this is going to be from um, from All Day Vape, and um, I will open it up here. Uh, show me in the folder. Okay, there's my folder. I'm going to go ahead and share the screen. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to open it up. Dot JPEG, and there's the coils from All Day Vape. So these are very, very nice looking coils. And this is going to be like a stage heating coil, like we would are going to do next week. So it looks good. Very, very clean. Very nice. Very, very nice. And we did tell people that if you um, if you didn't want to do the coils that we were doing for the week. Um, that you're more than welcome just to enter any coils in, and we will we will show them on the show. So, but next week everybody can do stage heating. Um, it's super easy, and if you have any questions about it, you can always reach out to me. But there's also a ton of great videos available um, online. Twisted Messes has a video about uh, stage heating. Um, it's it's a pretty easy concept to grasp. So, yeah. 
I think it's going to be great. And then, you know what? After that, maybe we can do twisted. We'll go back to basics a little bit. Do some twisted coils maybe next time. We'll see. We'll see. We'll get there. All right. Now, twisted wire coil is not like what twisted uses, like straight out of the the RDA pet baggie, right? No. <laughs> no. I mean, you know what? That's what that's what I'm gonna enter in next week is just a fucking uh, pre-made coil from Anakin or something. Like a smock, Clapton. <laughs> oh, look how clean that is! <laughs> so clean. <laughs> yeah. So I did show it uh, all day, babe. There you go. I've, if anybody sh sends me stuff, I, I'm gonna try my best to show it. Um, I definitely have some memory issues. So, yeah. <laughs> All day just said, Travis, you can wait till next week. I it's going it, to be yeah. staged. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it. Well, we'll show it again next week. There you go. We get double exposure. Yeah. All right. That means two things. So, um, let's go ahead and wrap it up. We're coming up on the hour and a half mark. I try to keep this short and sweet and hard to beat, like a piece of meat. So, sorry about that. Uh, my name's Travis. You can catch this uh, here on this fucking channel where you're at right now, or also on Instagram at Overdose Vapes, Twitter at Overdose Vapes, Facebook at Overdose Vapes, all the fucking, all the social medias at Overdose Vapes. So, yeah. And Rosa, you can enter the coils that I sent you. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> um, who else wants to go? Life, why don't you tell them where they can find you, bud? Uh, you can find me at Life of Babes on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Just dropped a new video today. Yesterday, I dropped the Angora Rabbit. Uh, both yesterday's and today's videos do have giveaways. So if you want to get over there, subscribe, enter. You got to watch about probably like five minutes in before I tell you how to enter. <laughs> so it increases the watch time. It's great. Um, but yeah. Um, <laughs> The only other thing I want to, I want to pimp out is that lemon ecstasy. Go over there, get it, and uh, you can use this hash that coupon code of pink pussy, all lowercase. Excellent. That's it. Thanks Excellent. for having me on. No, uh, thank you for coming in last minute. Um, we really, really appreciate it. And um, I really recommend you guys go watch um, uh, Lifeless video on the Angler Rabbit Cotton. And uh, if you have didn't get a chance to win some when I gave some away here, he's given some away as well. And um, it's just a really good video about the about the cotton as well. So really recommend you guys go watch it and just watch all of his content. It's really well made and very informative. So I'm a big fan, and I'm sure that you're gonna blow up any day now and forget all about all of the small fries. So. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I do want to give away a bottle of juice before we leave, so everybody stick around in the chat. Right before we leave, I will announce a winner for that, okay? <clears throat> so, Giz, why don't you go ahead and uh, vape bombing on us? Okay. Um, I'm Gizzard Stew, Gizzard Stew channel on YouTube and at Gizzard Stew on Instagram. And hashtag 1111 is my big giveaway. Still running. Uh, I'm down. I need about close to 78 subs or something like that, and then we'll be able to give all that good stuff away. Uh, so bring your cousins, you know, come on over. And uh, I put up a, an interesting video this week if uh, you guys have not seen it. So huh. you might want to check that out. And that's about it. It's a, delicious, it's a delicious video. You're really getting close, man. 78 subs, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. That's so, fucking awesome. Hopefully we can get it done in the next week or two. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know what I've one of my experiences have been whenever I get close to like a, a milestone, shit it slows, slows down. fucking down, man. That last twenty <clears throat> takes forever, dude. Yeah. We'll but see. but you'll get it. No, you're gonna get it fast. So Okay. Um uh, Paul, you got anything you want to pimp out? Uh esigbarn.com. Coupon code Barn Brigade gets you 15% off of your orders. Go check out VGV, all the new flavors. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, just watch Overdose Vapes. That's it. Okay, so and also I want to – so uh, me and Josh have – we've had a couple of – the last few times that we've gotten together has been extremely limited in time. Um, and also we just haven't been getting together as much just because of life. But um, we, we 
have recorded a couple of VGV videos, um, the Bait Girl Vixens. So I want to let uh, not just Paul know, but let you guys know as well what to look forward to. So we got some VGV stuff coming up. Um, we have uh, a bunch of different shit coming up. We have tons of stuff to do, but um, it's all coming. <clears throat> and tomorrow I will be releasing the video for the Oceanus for this uh, device here. And um, we're going to have a few Anakin things all, all in one week. We're going to have the Oceanus, the, um, the, the Cool Fire Ultra 150, and the new um, the little mouth-to-lung device that came out with the, T, the T20. the T So all those things are coming out this week, <clears throat> as well as some juice reviews and stuff, too. We're going to try to hit it real hard this next, this next week. So, All right, so if everybody in the chat wants to go ahead and put a number between 1 and 100, I will do a giveaway for a 100 ml bottle of Killer Custard with Strawberry. Um, oh, yeah, VapingSwag.com. VapingSwag! That's, that's something I do have uh, coming up. I've been vaping that, too. I did forgot to mention it. Um, I've been vaping the breakfast chocolate donut a lot. I really, really like this stuff. Um, and then we've got videos for all that stuff coming up as well. We've recorded two. Um, we have a bunch more to record as well. So we're going to be looking at that. And I'm going to be doing a short video on this beard oil as well. So go check out. This also is coming from Vaping Swag. And um, go to www.yetiwire.com. It's going to get you some fatty, fat, fucking fat boy coils, you know. If you want to vape like a boss, you go check out YetiWire.com. YetiWire! There he is right there. That's my fucking man. I really miss Yeti. I fucking yeah. miss him. So, Yeti, yeah. if you're Get watching... Better, Yeti. Feel better, bro. We're really hoping Get you feel better. better. Buddy. He promised me next week he'll be here, so... Love that guy. Yes. Wait, did we show Yeti's coil? I don't know, did you? I fucking don't know. Oh, what the fuck? It was. It had to be in that folder. Okay, let's let's do the giveaway, and then I will um I will go back and and we've got to show you his coil. So and go to well, Adora Liquid. Yeah, at least we know you didn't steal it and show it as your own. <laughs> no, but his looks fucking so much better than mine. So <clears throat> I, I have to fucking. God, I can't believe I don't have it. Okay, it has to be in my messages. Um, okay, so let's do the giveaway first. Um, between one and a hundred, I'm gonna go to random.org. Between one and a hundred, we're gonna do it three times. One, dos, cuatro, no, three. So the number is thirty-three. The number is thirty-three. I'm sure we got somebody that's close. That's divisible by eleven, Gizzy. It straight up is. I know it. We had a lot of people dropping forties. It looks like import man seven oh seven. It's got twenty six. So uh, no, oh wait, this, nope. Rain has thirty seven. Yep. So that's going to be the closest. It looks like thirty seven. It looks like thirty seven. Is not divisible by eleven. It's not no. Yeah. Okay. So Rain, it looks like unless somebody else had a, a number that's closer, I don't see one. So Rain, why don't you go ahead and send me your uh, your shipping address at Overdose Vapes. Or two overdose vapes at yahoo dot, at yahoo dot com. Can't talk all of a sudden. Ah, that makes me hungry now. I can't concentrate. Um, <clears throat> no. So go ahead and send me your shipping address to overdose vapes, all one word, all lowercase at yahoo dot com. I'm looking forward to sending it out to you, seeing what you think about it. Um, I've really liked it. So <clears throat> yeah. All right. Yeah, okay, so uh, Juan never saw the coil, so we definitely have to go and look at these coils. Okay, so let me go ahead and share the screen one more time. Okay, that's not the one. It's got to be in here. Let me drop that out. Let me drop this out. I think that our faces are in the way. No, I did, they're not fucking in here. Okay, I got to download them real quick from the Messenger app, and then we'll just put them up. Sorry, everybody. Hope there's no incriminating information on my screen over here anywhere. So, and then there was, yeah, that was so funny. There was somebody special in the chat tonight. I'm not going to mention who, but there is a special person in chat who loves this channel and loves my show. Where the fuck is it? Oh, here we go. Mike. Mike Meters. Peter Meter. Okay. Let me go ahead and I'll just bring this over here. Boom. So here's one of the shots of uh, that Mike or that Yeti sent out to me. 
Um, fucking absolutely gorgeous. Multi-core, uh, staggered. I mean, holy shit. So that's what, one, two, three, four, five pieces of, of uh, space Claptons as the core? That's what it looks like. Nice. That's fucking nuts. That is fucking nuts. This guy is a fucking genius. I mean, he just is. And here we go. Here's a here's a bigger shot of the coil. Um, I mean, fucking just delicious. One, two, three, four, five cores, all staggered. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So thank you, Yeti, for sending that out. I'm I'm so glad I didn't fucking forget to show it. I would have felt ashamed of myself. Okay, and that's hey, about it. What, Travis? You want to give uh, Ren the email address <clears throat> again? The video was um. Absolutely. It's overdose vapes, all one word, all lowercase, overdose vapes at yahoo.com. Um, you can also, I think that we're friends on Facebook. Um, you can also just message me on Facebook as well. If that's, if oh, yeah, that's yeah. Story. Right, Ren. She's been in the fucking Facebook group forever. I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure we're friends on Facebook. So, yeah. Either way, I mean, e email me or, or Facebook. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. All right. And I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. I uh, really, really had a good time. Oh, that was. Fucked up. Okay, uh, yeah, had a great time with everybody. Thank you so much to Light, but thank you so much to Paul and to Vape Vomit Giz. Um, really go check out all these guys' channels, except for Paul because he doesn't have one. But we'll just say, overdose vapes, that's partly Paul's. He yeah. can have part of it. Well, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I host this with you, yeah, and I've done the theme song, and I'm an admin on the uh, on the page. So yeah. you basically, I would say, you I would basically say have I'm more like, rights to this show than I do. <laughs> All right, thumbs thank you. Guys. Up. Thumbs up out there. Yeah, hit the thumbs up button. Church, thank you so Smash. much. Church, Church was uh, was going through chat all night tonight and occasionally Smash telling like people to, to hit the like button. You know, you guys are so great. I have like the, the, the greatest little community of people who joins us on Sunday nights, and I really, really uh, couldn't be happier um, just to get to spend time with you guys. So it's really important to me. All right, good night, everybody, and we will see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Wick sticks. Wick sticks. Cotton. Giant wick.